Hello guys! Welcome back to my channel. I am Jess and today's ganap, we are going to have our lesson for this day. And the title of our lesson or learning for this afternoon is all about the types of soil. So, are you familiar of soil? So, this is very important for us to know the different types of soil and what is soil all about its uses and its characteristics this is uh, for grade 4 for fourth quarter but i'm not saying that this is only for grade 4 but this is also for different grade levels wherever you are teaching so without further ado let's have this topic Okay, so before we start our lesson, let's have first an introduction about our lesson, which is soil. So, soil is very important to living things such as for the plants, for the humans, because what we are stepping is all about the soil. And plants grow because of the soil. So, soil has important uses that we need to take care of. And um, soil is very essential to produce crops, to produce fruits and veggies that we are eating. And soil has different characteristics, its texture, odor, and many more. Furthermore, different plants grow in different soil. So, it depends on how they are used in getting nutrients in the soil and it also depends on the soil on how it gives nutrients to the plants. So, soil could also be combined by sand, by different um, pebbles like that. So, that is all about the soil and that is very important that we are having this topic for you to understand our topic for today. Okay, so we have different types of soil and there are four types of soil. Namely, we have the sandy soil, we have the loam soil, we have the silt soil, and we have the clay soil. So there are four soil that we are going to know today. I'm going to show you the different types of soil through the picture so that you could able to familiarize those soil. So, here it is. The image shows the sandy soil. So, the sandy soil could be light in color or either in dark color. Sandy soil is the poorest types of soil for growing plants, it's because it has a very low nutrients and poor water holding capacity. Meaning to say, plants here are growing light and okay, limited. So the sandy soil has a poor water holding capacity. So meaning to say, the plant's roots can't absorb the water very well because of um, little water that the soil is holding and it has a poor nutrient that could provide the plants to make it so healthy it is hard and better for a plant or plants to grow in this kind of soil because it its um, holding capacity of water is not good and it renders poor nutrient to a plant. So if you wish to uh, plant more uh, that you wanted to have, then you have to choose a soil that is very appropriate to your plant. Okay? Another one. So this is the silt soil. So as you can see, there is a difference between silt soil and sand soil. The texture of the silt is smooth and fine and it holds water better than sand. Its color is brown or either dark in color 
Just like clay, silt holds water and becomes sticky. Okay, so silt soil becomes sticky because it holds too much water. And it is a good soil compared to the sandy soil. It's because um, it holds water which could uh, able to a plant to absorb the water to that sticky soil. That's it. The reason why the soil or the silt soil becomes sticky, it's because of the water that the soil is absorbing. Let's talk about the clay soil. To describe the clay soil, it has a brownish color and it is sticky when it becomes wet. Its main use is it is good for making pots and jars but it is not good for plants. Here are the characteristics of clay soil and its use. So if you wanted to use clay soil upon gardening or planting of your plants, then it is not appropriate because clay soil is just good only for making pots and jars which we could only use as our decorations and things that we could put into it. Let's take the last type of soil which is loom soil. Loom soil is the combination of sandy soil, silt soil, and clay soil. Another thing that is combined with this loom soil is the humus. If you ask me what is a humus, so here's the meaning. These are decaying matters like leaves, plants, animals, and branches. Okay, so when we speak of the word decaying or decayed, so it is a term for easily rot or broken into smaller pieces. So those uh, decayed matters like leaves, branches, plants, and animals are being broken into smaller pieces and turns into a loom soil okay so loom soil if we are going to compare the soil loom soil to the sandy soil to the silt soil and to the clay soil the most effective soil that we need to use is the loom soil it's because it contains um, decaying matters and we could able to use this for our plants and most of all it holds too much water that the plant could absorb and it holds too much oxygen for the plants to develop and make it grow so that's all about the types of soil and before i end my lesson i have a question for you so my question goes this way what is the best soil or the most effective soil that we are using to our plants so i'll wait for your answer and that would be all and i thank you thank you for listening and i hope that you learn a lot in our lesson for today's activity see ya